we think, if you look at the five platforms of the 14 technologies, um, you have to go back to the early 1900s to see anything uh, remotely resembling it. Back then, three major platforms, telephone, electricity, automobile. Today, five involving 14 technologies. And the convergence between and among these technologies, we think, is going to cause explosive growth. Explosive. What we, uh, what, what we believe is uh, happening is three different revolutions. One is a, a money revolution. One is a financial revolution. And one is a next gen internet revolution. Uh, the last one would be what people are calling the metaverse. So the, the uh, money revolution is what I mentioned earlier. We think that very few currencies will be playing a, in that particular game. Uh, Bitcoin and Ether are the two. Bitcoin more dominant from a money point of view. Uh, and again, each one of these words is extremely important. It is the first global, big important word, private, digital, rules-based monetary system ever. Now, Art collaborated with us uh, on our first white paper in 2015, and he tore the first paper we wrote up, as a good professor would. And we learned a lot more about this monetary system from that exercise. But uh, the aha moment for me was when Art said, uh, hey, this is what I've been looking for ever since the end of the gold exchange standard in 1971. And I said, okay, well, how big could this be? And at that time, we were looking at $6 billion in the equivalent of market cap or network value, so $250. Um, he said, uh, uh, well, how big is the U.S. monetary base? This could become the reserve currency of the crypto asset world. And at that time it was four and a half trillion. Now it's eight trillion. Uh, Bitcoin today is, is in the 750 to 800 billion uh, dollar mark. So one tenth of, of that. Um, so, and we see El Salvador adopting it. We see black markets in Turkey and, and many other countries because, uh, these people know what can happen with, uh, fiscal and monetary policies gone awry or with corrupt regimes. So that's uh, that's Bitcoin and Ether. Um, the financial revolution is DeFi and uh, really just taking all the middlemen out of uh, out of the financial ecosystem, uh, a real threat to all of us. I mean, we're trying to, uh, we know that the combination of digital wallets and DeFi is going to hollow out a lot of financial institutions. Uh, may already be because a lot of lending and saving is taking place on DeFi because it offers lower loan rates and higher saving rates. So that's a compelling, uh, that's a compelling combination. Uh, so we think DeFi, um, is, well, it is scaling enormously right now. And I think we've had a very good test. Uh, May of last year, uh, you know, we, we had Bitcoin cut in half. Ether cut by more than half. Uh, I was waiting for the leverage in uh, the DeFi system to topple it, and it didn't. And whatever makes these networks, uh, whatever doesn't kill them, is making them stronger. Anti-fragile is a is a um, word often used. And then uh, the third bucket here is the uh, next gen internet uh, revolution, and this is where uh, effectively, longer term, uh, we will take power away from the data aggregators who've enjoyed thus far on first generation internet, the spoils. Uh, so that would be Google and Amazon and uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, as the consumer takes control of his and her data, and um, especially in the healthcare Arena, we think there's going to be really interesting uh, uh, and creative solutions coming out of the um, the convergence of blockchain technology and artificial intelligence, and uh, you know the the explosion in healthcare data that that we are seeing now. Uh, now that we can sequence each genome for five hundred dollars, so those are the three ways. And of course, NFTs belong in that world. 
uh, and the creator economy will be turbocharged, creators being rewarded for uh, their creations. And, uh, you know, fascinating in, in the art and the music world to see how, you know, art pixels are, are, are being sold and then pictures reconstituted, but the, the initial artist, the original artist, getting a royalty for all of that. So it's pretty, pretty interesting. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, Here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.